Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, today it is a 25k special problem. And guys, we have completed uh, 25,000 subscribers. It has been a long journey and uh, thanks a lot for everything. And I'm very happy that uh, we could build such a strong community where uh, almost all good students, really good students and a lot of teachers are uh, part of it. So, thank you again. So, here is the problem. There is a grid of infinite squares with the side lengths uh, L, L by 2, L by 4, L by 8 until infinity arranged as shown. So, this is how this arrangement is uh, present here. Alright. In each square, we are moving in clockwise sense. Find the work done by the force in moving clockwise in each square. So clockwise we are moving here, 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 here and in every single square we are moving in clockwise sense. Alright. Till infinity. The force is given by the expression. So here this is how this uh, force is given. So we will come to know more about this uh, force. So by first look this problem looks uh, quite tough and it is actually tough uh, but uh, the way we will discuss it you will uh, and you will remember like how uh, the separation of uh, these terms can be done so let's proceed to the solution here now this force which is given by alpha minus beta x square plus y square y i plus x j cap now in the first look uh, we don't get any idea how to proceed with the such type of uh, force so what we can do is let's rearrange these terms all right so uh, this term times yi cap and this term times xj cap all right now uh, these x square plus y square term we can uh, separate so the moment i do this i'll be getting alpha times yi minus xj and beta times minus y i cap plus x j cap by x square plus y square now when we do this and a lot of familiar expressions will be coming in mind so if you remember uh, separately on this channel and in my classes also I have been discussing uh, about these uh, forces so these are very special type of uh, forces here you can see so basically the given expression which i have given here uh, it is uh, having two forces as components so if i use polar coordinates here and uh, this is theta cap so this is also like minus theta cap and this is theta cap so at least one thing is known to us that these are tangential vectors and polar coordinates so further you can see if I rearrange these terms I am getting this term as alpha r minus theta cap and this is beta by r and this theta cap. Now these forces now you will remember we encounter these two in uh, time varying magnetic field however I am not using that uh, logic here but uh, this is like inside the inside the magnetic field where uh, r d r by 2 db by dt and this is like capital r square by 2 r db by dt something like that uh, these magical forces are given however here we will be keeping this uh, discussion for work done only so now i'll recommend these uh, videos to the students if you can recall this force this is like uh, the magical force 2 video and this is like magical force 1 video. I have done these forces in great depth in this channel and those who are old members they will remember. So what I will recommend here is if you are interested in knowing the, uh, the properties of these forces you can go through these videos uh, of two magical force one this is the first video of this channel and this is somewhere in the middle so both the links i will provide in the description and uh, however i'll be using the direct result of these two forces here in order to solve and i think most of my students would be able to solve this those who have uh, studied these forces they'll remember uh, that directly we can solve these problems so here you can see for uh, this particular one this magical force one 
this is the expression and in this case we get uh, work done as uh, minus 2 pi k here if it is k by r where k is beta in this uh, problem and if it is clockwise it will be minus 2 2 pi k so here answer will become minus 2 pi beta i'll recommend again please see this video and uh, try to learn these results their general results will work in any situation so if path contains origin the work is there and if part doesn't contain origin in that case non zero uh, zero work will happen so this is the property of this so you will find that you will find that due to this uh, force component only the square which is at the center will have work but remaining squares which are along the diagonal till infinity they will not have uh, any work done by this force so for these till infinity it is 0, 0, this side 0 and this side 0. Only due to this it will come and that will become minus 2 pi by beta. Directly we can say no need to solve this. <coughs> Similarly here for uh, force F2. For this we derived the general result that uh, the value of uh, work done by this force it is simply 2 alpha times area of the loop. 2 alpha times area of the loop whatever uh, path closed loop we are taking and for clockwise sense for anti-clockwise sense minus sign will come in this case so here it's very simple that uh, 2 alpha will come now area of all the squares we have to take for the central one it is L square and there are four such squares at uh, each corner with the side length l by 2 so 4 times l by 2 whole square next 4 times l by 4 whole square 4 times l by 8 whole square and till infinity we are going all right and similarly like uh, th this becomes infinite gp so, so leave this first term and uh, take these uh, terms till infinity and i'm not explaining the calculation just uh, i'll take you the, to the final step when we simplify this, we are getting this uh, W2 as 14 alpha L square by 3. So total work done by this force, which is mixed of uh, two magical forces, that becomes W1 plus W2 and the value becomes minus 2 pi beta plus uh, 14 by 3 alpha L square. And this is going to be the final answer for this problem. And guys, uh, this uh, announcement is about uh, writing the test these are free tests you can write on uh, an academy every day at uh, 6 pm and you can use my code nitin sir for uh, enrolling into this uh, free test series there, there will be 15 question and 30 minutes so you can uh, practice well for your mains exam and uh, yes guys uh, this is another uh, announcement that uh, price hike is coming very soon in an academy we have seen a very like recently we have seen a uh, massive massive uh, uh, you can say off in the an academy subscription but those prices are going to go back again so before you get uh, some off you can try joining an academy okay so that's it guys in this video i hope you have uh, understood it properly and uh, the key idea was resolving this force into two magical forces and don't forget to watch those uh, videos in order to have complete grip and complete uh, analysis of uh, those magical forces because i don't know how many of you will be able to solve this with the present expression but if you have the clear idea of r cap theta cap uh, you will get that idea that you have to uh, resolve these uh, forces into r cap theta cap kind of uh, functions so that will help you in solving the problem so that's it guys thank you thanks for watching it